Hello y'all, it's Valerie here from Pisces Mountain Farm, and I guess the theme of this week is trying to get all the tomatoes planted as quickly as possible because they're way too big and need in the ground, and also because I've got a music festival coming up that I didn't think I was going to be able to get to go to because of COVID. So I didn't buy tickets at the beginning of the year like I normally would. And we came into some tickets for that. So it was very unexpected. We literally just found out like last week. I'm super excited. It's one that we've been to for the last, I don't know, six years, excluding COVID. I mean, last year they obviously didn't have it. Um, I've been fully vaccinated. My husband's, everyone in my household's been fully vaccinated. Um, so we're going to this festival and the way I camp, it's not just like I get my tent. It's a little bit of a production, you know, it's not huge or anything, but I kind of have my own style when it comes to camping. So it takes a little while to get all that stuff, um, ready. So I will probably be taking you along for that ride as well in the upcoming week. So you might be seeing a little bit of festival content on here. Normally there's festival content on my page. There just haven't been festivals. So it's been more fo focused around the farm, which is fine. I still want to continue to do that. But I just want to point out, I guess, that... In addition to that, I'll also have some festival content and maybe even some fashion content coming up because that's also part of my life. It's part of what I love to do. So, I guess with all that being said, the name of the game is tomatoes. I've got all these rows planted. I'm going to be planting some more where I sit. And we've got this frame thingy that we're putting together down there. I'll walk you down and show you that here in a second that I'm going to be planting tomatoes in. But the goal is to get as many tomatoes as I can planted in this space and then see how many I have left over and come up with a plan for those. So um, I've got over 100 planted so far. I'm um, trying to remember everything I'm wanting to get out. Yeah, there's over 100 planted so far. I've got my determinants down by my house. So this is just the indeterminates. And I've got a place over there by my onions where I'm putting my... I think I'm going to put my current tomatoes and the tomatillos I have over there. So, I guess I'm going to go show you this ring real quick. And then I'm going so to... So here I have this old trampoline ring. That's what... This is, you can see we just took the legs off of it. We did end up having to cut it because it was so rusted. But we took the legs off of it and we put up these T-posts. These are the six foot T-posts, I think. Five foot maybe, I'm not sure. No, it's definitely six foot because it's taller than I am. Okay, we strung rope across there kind of in a, a wagon wheel kind of pattern. And we're going to hoist this frame up on these T-posts. And we're gonna grow more tomatoes in this area. All right, I guess that I'm going to go plant more. Hey y'all, it's Valerie. So, I've been busy trying to get this garden in for the last week, week and a half, and I've gotten some footage of stuff, but nothing's kind of come together, so I will show you some projects we've been up to and maybe get some footage of some of the things I have growing and try to put it together in a cohesive way that makes sense. So with the canopy, we're going to do a few more things with that, and um you know, that's not the way it's going to stay, but I think it'll be pretty interesting, and it'll evolve over the years. Since I've saw, shot that footage, I've also added mulch to a lot of the plants. I've planted more plants. Um, I'm getting ready to switch gears for a little bit. That's why it's such a hard push, is because I found out last minute I'm going to get to go to a music festival. I'm hoping to get all this together in a cohesive way, and 
maybe make sense of what's been going on. Things have changed quite a bit, and I will do a full farm tour, but I would like to finish a couple of little projects before I do that. So, that's what's been well, happening. I took the plastic off of this little greenhouse, and I'm going to move it, and I've got a little project I'm going to do with it to make it usable for the summer, and then I will get all this cleared up and get my table back here the way it goes and just get this spot back the way it usually is or at least looking a little better but that's the little greenhouse frame I've got all the stuff either sitting out on these tables or planted already and yeah like I said I'm going to move it and do a little project to come up here and show you what I did with that greenhouse frame and the trampoline I just woke up so it's still early and since we're up here I'll kind of give you an overview of the tomato yeah, when we were thinking of doing this greenhouse frame we weren't thinking of pairing it with the trampoline frame but it ended up fitting so that's what we did with it and I just thought I would show you like it's nothing too much to speak of right now and eventually I will paint the t-posts and maybe the trampoline ring I know maybe this isn't making sense because you can't see what I'm talking about but um I'm gonna walk you down here and show you what we did and what we're going to do with it and I'll kind of give you just a quick overview of my tomatoes along the way there are tomatoes all along here we need to weed this area. We weren't originally planning on putting them like up in this area at all, but I just needed the room. And I did give some away. But I'm not going to go too much on the tomatoes, but this is kind of my field. The spacing is off from the way we would normally do it. But eventually we'll have a high tunnel up here and whenever that happens we'll have our spacing better because that that gap there probably that's at least should have had one more gap that size our rows probably should have been slightly bigger here and maybe slightly smaller here we could have fit more of the ones that are on this bank and even into this grass a little bit we could have fit some of these in here more if our spacing would have been better all right i'm just going to walk through this real quick and show you what we did with this trampoline frame and this greenhouse frame and it is not centered with the path of if the it tomato. bothers you that it's not straight i'm so sorry but that really isn't something that bothers me too much so what we did is we hoisted this frame up on some t-posts and we tied string and we've also got tomatoes planted down here a couple of rows so we're going to string across here to put the tomatoes on and then we're going to plant something in the middle and bring some strings down for it to grow up we're just not sure yet I'm thinking a small pumpkin or something along those lines so I'm going to step back and kind of show you so we've got tomatoes here and along this side so let's go back here I took the greenhouse frame and we had to there was a bar that went across here that we took out so that way you could walk straight through that was my husband's doing because I was just wanting to set it somewhere because my idea is to grow pole beans over it so whenever everything is lush and nice it's just a, a green house a house of leaves and flowers so to speak so that was my idea well we brought it up here trying to figure out where to put it and since we are low on flat space my husband kind of just plopped it down there and took that bar off which enables us to now walk through here 
and walk through here we have tomatoes along this side it's really hard to get this in frame and tomatoes along that side and then you can walk straight through and that needs weeded but that leads you to this slope of where my flower beds are I do have a bunch of stuff planted here I'm not ready to do a farm tour so I'm not going to really show any of the stuff I've got going on with that but I do want to show one thing beautiful all right i think that that's it for this little bit. farm tour but i did want to show you that i got my a still be bed weeded and partially mulched i've been talking about it for a couple videos now i think every time i walk past it on a video so i got that started a small look at some of the stuff I have to plant still and I still have some stuff under lights this is what's on my porch right Whenever now I say I still have things under lights this is what I mean some of this just isn't quite big enough and some of it's just sitting here hanging out waiting to go on the porch so it can start hardening off I had an accident and I'm about ready to get it cleaned but there's what I mean when I say I have more things to plant under light still some more stuff I have left to plant I have a mess here too that's trash and some more stuff left to plant just wanted to show this i winter sowed some lysianthus and i don't know if they're going to get big enough in time i mean most likely they're not did you see all those little and these were from someone's seeds these weren't from ordered from somewhere these are seeds someone saved and they sent me some and they're like dust. I will say once it gets warm they do shoot up pretty quickly. I think if there's any chance they would have to grow pretty fast and maybe get one flush before it gets too cold. Sorry dogs are barking at passers-by on their four-wheelers. So yeah I just wanted to show that. Oh yeah as well as other stuff I needed to get planted. I think I showed that already. I just wanted to show you this columbine when, while it's still in its full glory. I've got some things planted in here. I've got some coral bells and there's some love in a mist that's getting ready to open. I've never grown this. I sowed this last fall and it looks like it's getting ready to pop open. And that's some flea bane that's just a weed here that volunteers. Um, okay, I really just wanted to show you my columbine. Oh, let me show you my little lysianthus that the two that I managed to survive to keep out of the ones I started inside. Those seem to be doing well. I've, I've never been able to grow those either. I've got the seeds before many times and never even been able to get them to germinate, but the last time I tried was back before the internet was used so widely like I'm gonna say early 2000s is the last time I really tried to grow lysianthus at the latest 2005 but I'm thinking earlier than that all right I'm going to go actually I'm going to go mulch some things and water
Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.